On today's video, we have Pioneer's new AVIC 5201 NEX. So stay tuned. So this year's AVIC 5201 NEX is the exact same radio as last year's 5200. So what we're going to do now is instead of going through and repeating everything we said, we're just going to go ahead and play for you last year's 5200 video. If you already have a 5200 or you're already familiar with all the features, stop watching the video right now because there's nothing new to talk about. If you're unfamiliar with the 5200, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so we have the new AVIC 5200 NEX. Mm -hmm. Let's open it up and see what comes in the box, please. This is a navigation slash DVD multimedia unit. So it comes with a wiring harness, one USB extension, it's about four feet long, one auxiliary extension, there again, about four feet, the GPS antenna, the new Bluetooth microphone in the blue bag, a bag of screws, Uh, CD with the owner's manual as well as installation manual and warranty papers and a quick start guide for your GPS All right, so right here. We have your rear audio output. This would be for a rear seat entertainment of some sort You have your pioneer dedicated 30 pin you have the GPS antenna input You have USB 1 up top here, which is for Apple CarPlay you have USB 2 Down here you have a white and a red. This is your subwoofer input output to your amplifier. This yellow right here is your video output to a rear seat entertainment of some sort. The brown one right here is going to be for rear view camera. Alright, so we have the iData link input here, Sirius XM input here, that's for the SVX 300. You have your Bluetooth mic input right here. You have your mute wire which is the yellow black. You have this RCA right here. The white tag is your front RCA output. The green is going to be your rear RCA output. The gray is going to be an audio input, which can be paired up with the yellow, which is your video input. Now the yellow can also be used as a front facing camera input, selectable in the menu. Down here you have your main power input along with your steering wheel control wired input right here, your auxiliary input right here, and your antenna input right here. Now these two guys are the exact same size, so you have to be careful and make sure you plug them into the right holes. All right, when you power the unit up for the first time, it's gonna give you the five language options that you have available to you. You can pick one, move on. Now, this is where you're gonna do your smartphone setup. Uh, you can choose iPhone or other, which would be Android, and then how you plan on using it, USB, VGA, Bluetooth, or whatnot. Now this unit does come with Apple CarPlay, so if you're using Apple CarPlay, you're going to want to select USB 1. Next is, you're pretty much done at that point. This is the new OK screen, which will stay up for 7 seconds and then go away. So you don't have to push the button anymore. This brings you to your main menu. Now, let's talk about the screen a little bit. This is a 6.2 inch touch screen. WVGA LED back, backlit display that is a native 800 by 480 pixels. This is also a clear resistive screen. Now if we tap AV, this will give us a list of all the sources we have available to us. This one has an AM FM tuner, CD DVD player, iPod 1, which is also USB and would also be used for Apple CarPlay, it will do Pandora control for Android as well as iPhone. It has Bluetooth audio, USB 2 connection, the option to do Sirius XM with the optional SVX 300 tuner, your auxiliary input, your AV input, your rear seat entertainment output, car source, car feature, those are for your iDataLink Maestro. So if you didn't use one of those interfaces, they're going to stay grayed out. Rear view camera, this allows you to turn on the rear view camera. Then you have source off and the new power off. Power off is a new feature that when you tap, yes, automatically power the unit down. This is great if you have a motorized power antenna and you don't want it to get ripped off in a car wash. 
To wake the unit back up, just simply hit any button and it'll turn back on. Now as far as power goes, what does this guy have? This one has uh, 50 watts by 4 and 6 channels for volt output. That's great. So if you're going to add amplifiers, you're good to go there. Or if you just want to use deck power, you got 50 watts by 4. So a couple other things about this unit is the ability to do a little bit of customization. Colors, backgrounds. Now you can import your own backgrounds on this one if you would like. But we're going to show you the ones that it comes with So with default. So let's take a look at those. Let's hit the gears. Go to color. Go to backgrounds. And you have all these backgrounds right here. Now if you want the most, you notice how I drag my finger across. There's a little tiny box down here. It shows three little squares. So you have to drag. You have to drag. And you can have no background. So then you pick a background you like. Go ahead and tap it. And then click apply. And that will give you that background. Now then you can come over here and click illumination. The illumination is for these buttons right here. You can pick which color you want. Or you can go in and make your own. And then you also have themes, which are what's going to control the background color. So red, orange, green, blue, and or gray, depending on what background you're in. Now the units have Bluetooth calling, which is right here. It'll give you, uh, you can make presets, you can have your contacts, and going outgoing, as well as dialed old school. The little Pac-Man down here with the nose is for Siri eyes free, as well as hands free calling. Now, the nice thing about these, if you've used Bluetooth before, is these use the new wideband speech hands-free profile 1.6. What that means is it's got double the bandwidth for better sounding calls, which is really nice. Now the Bluetooth chip is manufactured by Parrot, as well as this does have Bluetooth audio, which if you come over here and tap here, here's your Bluetooth audio. Now as far as music goes, it uses the AVR CP 1.4 profile and you can use it to stream your music as well as control uh, your music library which are these icons right here when you tap those it'll pull up all your playlists and whatnot and you can use track up and down you can do that on android as well as iphone another feature that all the nex model radios have is what apple carplay that's right so if you got an iphone you get this cool user interface right here now in this user interface you get things like your phone you can show contacts, come over here, you have your music, playlists, albums, you also get maps. And then you have messaging, so you can come over here and it'll show you who you messaged, as well as you have a ton of other apps that you can download as well. So a couple key ones is iHeartRadio, you have Pandora, you have Spotify. Since we were talking about navigation, and we know this one has navigation, let's talk about the navigation real quick. So when you first power up your navigation system, it's going to give you a choice of languages. There's a ton of them to choose from. So we'll go ahead and pick English, select. Next thing it's going to ask you is a bunch of, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, mm hmm but there's a ton of it here. Yeah, make sure you read all that. Click accept. Yeah, please take a moment. Yep, we're going to set this thing up. So now, here's where the fun begins. This has turn by turn navigation. So what that means is it's going it, to, you have two choices. You have just regular English, male Dave, female Amy, and then up here you have TTS. TTS stands for turn by turn speech. So if you want her to talk to you, and say the name of the street that you're going to turn on as opposed to just turn left turn right you're going to want TTS. Now TTS is available in three languages English, Spanish, and French. So if you scroll up <laughs> Canadian. Okay now you also have one click next. Now this is the setup menu for where you live and what you're looking to do. So feet, miles, fuel economy, miles per gallon, Short time temperature, uh, you're going to click Fahrenheit if you live in the States because we like to do things different. Uh, currency, you can type in your currency. And then you click next. And then you can tell it, do you want to drive on highways, toll bridges? You can turn all this stuff on and off. 
So if you're a carpooler, click next, click finish. Now it's going to pull up your navigation system. Now a couple things about the navigation system itself. It has 7.9 million points of interest. A points of interest would be like a restaurant or a gas station or a parking garage or anything that has a name. It's got 7.9. This also uses what's called here maps for life. Now here maps for life guarantees that when you buy this unit, you're going to get the latest map available to you. What you do is within the first 45 days of activation, meaning once this thing is pinged to satellite, you have 45 days, you can go onto their site and download the latest version of the map software if there is an update for free. After the 45 days, it will cost you. Now, the map system itself is stored on an 8 gig flash drive, and it is you, you it comes with the information for all 50 states, Canada, and Puerto Rico. To find where you want to go, you come over here and you click these guys. And you can click New Route, Route Planner, Traffic, Useful Information, Your Settings, and About. Right now it is in nighttime mode. It will flip in daytime mode. The clock is auto set through the GPS. So there's no need to set the clock. Well, NEX radios have the NEX audio pack built into them, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is give you a quick overview on that. Okay, so to get to the sound package, go ahead and click gears, click the speaker, click graphic EQ is gonna come up first. You have five to choose from, super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, flat, as well as two custom one, custom two. To adjust the EQ, you just go into it and drag your finger across. And then back up here. You have balance of fader, mute level, source level adjust. This is nice if you have something that, uh, like a cell phone or something like that, that doesn't have a really good output, you can adjust the output. Or if it's distorting, you can turn it down. We all know no one does that. Rear speaker on and off. This is really good for this because this unit has dual zone. So if you have this hooked up to a set of headrests or an overhead, you can then shut off the rear speakers while the little kitties have their headphones on so that it doesn't bother them. You can also do the same thing with the subwoofer. You can turn that on and off. You have speaker level control, so you have independent adjustment adjustability for each speaker. And the reason why you have that is because you have listening position. You can go ahead and tell it where you're going to sit. Now if you're really into the listening position, you can come down into time alignment. Here you can adjust the distance between your head and the speaker to make it more fine-tuned. If you really want to make it fine-tuned, you can get into the auto EQ section here, which involves adding or plugging in Pioneer's external microphone. Now, a couple other cool things that this radio has is a detachable face. Press this little button right here, and this little guy comes off. Okay, now when you put it, now you want to do this because you want to power, if, if you get this radio, go ahead and do this because it's going to ask you a question. Set a password, do not ask next time. Now, if you don't have four of the most favorite numbers that you use on every single thing, do not set a password. Because if you forget your password, it's 80 bucks to get it reset. So, do not ask next time. Now, we did mention this has the ability to do rear seat entertainment. So, if you do want to add some form of rear seat entertainment, this has dual zone. And where that's controlled, come down here, where it says rear source, you tap this, and this will allow you to pick a source. So it will only give you sources that are available to you. So right now you don't see DVD because there is no DVD in it. But if there was, you could tap DVD and then the DVD will get fed out of this to the overhead. And then you can still listen to AMF from radio. Yep. Fun joy. What do you think? Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so we talked about a lot of features that this thing has. One nice thing that we went ahead and did is we shot videos on each feature independently where we get real in depth on all the things that this thing does. So rear seat entertainment, we plugged in some headphones, our head headrests and Apple CarPlay. We have videos on everything. So if this was too fast or you didn't give me enough information, check the playlist. Chances are there's a movie just on that. Wrap yes. it up for them. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.
And as usual, we really appreciate it. If you do have a question about this, though, feel free to ask and we will get back to you. Otherwise, subscribe. And you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy. See you later. Bye.